All right, I'm caught talking to media consultant Amy Webb with Webb Media. That's mydigimedia.com, M-Y-D-I-G-I, media.com. And Amy, you mentioned a conceptual crossroads. Can you talk about that, please? Sure. Um, the economic situation is such that a lot of people have lost their jobs. There are a lot of mid-career journalists who are trying to figure out what to do next. There are a lot of young journalists that are that are deciding what kind of journalism they want to go into and what they should be studying. Um, and my take on this is that there are a lot of people running out to learn Dreamweaver or to learn Flash because those are the buzzwords that they've heard, and that's what they think they should be doing. And in reality, um, most journalists should should know the lexicon. They should know what Dreamweaver is. You know that basically it's a it's a code editor and, and nothing else. Um, they should know what Flash is and what it does and what it can't do. But the journalists shouldn't abandon their core competency, which is reporting, editing, vetting content, really understanding more than anybody else um, how to put together a story and why that's important and how to disseminate information. They shouldn't abandon that core competency to learn code. You know, um, Most people out there, unless they have a genuine interest, should not pack up and head back to school because they've been laid off to learn Dreamweaver. Now, if they're excited and they want to learn how these tools work and they want to apply them, then by all means, they should they should do that. What's better, I think, for everybody is to learn the basics of these things, understand how and why the web works, understand mobile, um, understand you know, how and why mobile infrastructure and frameworks um, work, what information can be transmitted using various kinds of smartphones. Um, and we have on our main company site on webmediagroup.com, in the public research area, there are all kinds of tip sheets, including a bare bones basics, uh, how do mobile phones work, you know, and, and what does that mean for me as a, as a person in communications. You can download that um, to get some tips, but that's what's important, so that the journalist can combine their core skills with a coder whose core skills it is to, to build frameworks and build applications and, and stuff like that, um, so that they can work together to release a product or some kind of news tool or service that's meaningful in the context of how things are changing technologically. 